Welcome back. So, the daily note in Obsidian. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm using mine right now, and I'm going to briefly just touch on other ways to use it. I'm currently trying to move away from being too reliant on plugins, plus the fact that I want this video to be beginner friendly uh, means that my template does not really rely on any plugins. I am using periodic notes and I am using the templater plugin, but the template for the daily note I use myself can be used without any community plugins if you don't use the YAML at the top of the page here. That's the text with the three dashes on either side of it. If you just remove that part, this template will work without any sort of community plugins. I'll have a link down below where you can just go and easily copy paste this template. I mean, you could just basically just write it down, <laughs> but I'll link you to where you can just copy paste it and use it for yourself. Feel free to use and change as you see fit. There's nothing here that's some new invention on my part and everything is very simple. It's basically just four headings. There's nothing complicated about this at all. So my own daily note has changed so many times, even though I've not used Obsidian for a year yet. These last few months I've been without any real template or anything complicated because, because all I wanted then was a place to quickly write down what I was doing during the day. But in like <clears throat> early spring, I had a very complicated daily note with several different headings and I had data view queries and it just wasn't working out for me. It was too much. But now that we're in the second half of the year and my life is getting a bit more busy, I felt the urge to start tracking some things again in Obsidian because it gives me a nice feeling of control. Note, it gives me a feeling of control. This is a trick I play on my mind that I am aware of. It's like a comfort blanket. Tracking things will only give you what you put into it. And no matter how many things you track, it will never give you control over your life. So, moving on. <laughs> As you can see, I have three headings. I have the personal log, I have my daily log, and I have evening reflections. Under the heading personal log, I track my sleep, my mood, if I have a driving lesson or not that day, and any sort of physical activity. I track everything descriptively with backlinks. Uh, what that means is that I have a note called like feeling happy. Here, I'll show you instead. So as you can see here, this is just a note called feeling happy. I have some uh, hidden YAML and in this I have aliases where um, where I just call the note happy. So in my daily note, I can either write that, you know, I'm feeling happy or I can just write if I'm more in the mood of just quickly speaking everything up, I can just, you know, type double brackets happy. And I know that I was happy that day and it will create a backlink. So let's try and just open up a daily note. So we'll see how it looks when it's not in template mode. There you see the, all the letters you saw. It just writes out that it's Sunday, July 9, 2023. So then the personal log then is for oh, personal, my, my personal stuff. And since I write it descriptively, I can... Okay, so why didn't I continue using data view then? Because I can just use uh, tags or inline fields to write happy or slept well or whatever but yeah I could do that and I did do that but I want to have my notes um, as future proof as I can and even though the note feeling happy or you know feeling whatever will be useless if I'm not in obsidian or not in a software that uses backlinks I'll still have all my daily notes where my logging is easily understandable because because they're just there in a descriptive way flowing with the rest of the text. So there won't be like a broken data view query if I decide to go to some other software or if Obsidian goes away or something. So anyway, my personal log, I go back during the day and add small stuff, not things that I'm actually 
actively doing because that would go under the daily log but just small jots that are more personal like how i'm feeling physical activity all that stuff i mentioned i mostly use log six still for very personal things more like journaling diary type stuff in obsidian here i'm logging some of the things that i feel can affect my productivity or my daily energy in some way. So under the daily log, I do most of my thinking. So here are sort of more active thoughts rather than the more internal, passive, personal stuff. I always put a timestamp uh, when I write down something. Uh, you can, I have a, I have a hotkey for that, but you can just type it out manually if you feel like you want to timestamp stuff. It's not really interstitial journaling right now because that's not how my life looks at the moment. So it's not like Oh, it's 1 p.m. and I just stopped working on this project and I need to focus on this next and, you know, whatever. Because that's not how my life works right now. I go to Obsidian like a few times a day for certain things. But I do like having timestamps because it shows me when I'm usually working at stuff and sort of what I'm doing when. But here's the same as sort of the, the personal log. I, I free flow write whatever comes to mind. If I'm watching something on YouTube and I have a thought, I start writing. If I have an idea for something, I start to write it here. Sometimes it gets its own notes, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I used to always create a new note. As soon as I had like the smallest idea, I'd use a new note and I stopped writing, but I had so many basically orphan notes that it wasn't really working out. So instead I try to do a lot of my initial writing under the daily log. So as I said, sometimes it gets its own note straight away, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it gets a tag. Yes, I am a heathen. I use both backlinks, tags and folders all at the same time. I use tags when it's more of a concept than a, something that deserves its own note. And then when I have a lot of things under this tag, I think hmm, maybe this is something I need to check out. Do I have a good example of that right now? Of course not. You're here for the chaos, not for the finished, polished product, right? Right? No, <laughs> but I do tag certain things and sometimes I think that, hey, maybe this is a video or a blog post or something that would be worth researching. The, the daily log can sort of be more personal than the personal log, because even if it's called the personal log, it can be sort of cold if all you do is writing down, I'm feeling this, I slept like this, I ate this, I exercised in this way but the daily log that that's your mind that's what you're thinking about during the day and how you describe your brain to yourself sort of you can't really escape yourself and your mind if you truly use the daily log as a daily log it's interesting to go back and realize that hey when i felt like this i was really interested in researching this thing is that connected and since I want to be better at sort of tying everything up and remember my days as separate as separate events and not just a big mush of time, I have this heading right here called Evening Thoughts. And here I try to do like a summary of my day, sort of like what I've been doing, how I've been feeling, what I did yesterday and what I'm going to do tomorrow and what that means uh, for me. And I, I mean, I try to sort of reflect on the events and if I learned something new or any plans or goals for the next day. It's just a way for me to wrap up the day and prepare for the next one. This is mostly a paragraph or two, just to sort of remember what the day was all about. And it might not be something that I need to go back and reflect on later. It's mostly like a mental exercise for me because my mind sort of does not trust the time-space continuum. <laughs> so I have a difficult time putting boundaries on my day. Everything just sort of flows together. And when I look back a week later, I'm not sure what I did on Monday versus what I did on Thursday versus what I did on Saturday. So it's just an exercise for me in trying to get better at, you know, where do I exist in this time-space continuum right now? <laughs> okay, 
So let's just briefly and verbally touch on some other ways you can use the daily note in Obsidian. You can use it for straight up journaling. Many people use the daily note as a journal or just writing about their thoughts, experiences and emotions throughout the day. When I think of using the daily note as a journal, I'm thinking just opening up the note, no template, no nothing, and just write about whatever without being stuck on today or what needs to be or has been done during the day. It's sort of more like a, a, a diary and not a daily log or plans for the day or anything like that. It's mostly just like a straight up diary. You can also use it as just an idea catcher, just open it up, capture random ideas that comes to mind, sort of like the daily log, but without so much linearity, maybe with a link, maybe not, but just without linearity, just write down whatever comes to mind. That is an idea. That is something you want to work on. And lastly, you can use it as just a scratch pad. Sometimes you just need a place to quickly jot down notes, to do's or reminders, and you don't want to use post-it notes or paper. You want to keep everything in your sort of PKM system, even if it's just scratchy things. And the daily notes can totally work for that purpose. It's a convenient way to keep all your temporary notes in one place. This would not work for me at all. I need my to-dos in Todoist and I need structure for things that I need to remember or do. Uh, this way to use the daily note differs from the idea catcher because when you use it as just a random scratch pad, I feel that it's so much harder to go back and see where you might have written something down. I mean, the search in Obsidian is, is good, but without any linearity, I th don't think I would have a easy time finding what I need and what I did when. Um, I feel like if you use a daily note like a scratch pad, you need a good tagging system so you can easily find stuff. So that was a quick overview on how my daily note looks right now. And uh, three other ways you could use the daily note, like a journal, like an idea catcher, or like just a random scratch pad. Now I would love to hear down in the comments how you use your daily notes. If you have a cool template to share, please do. I very much enjoy going through different templates. It's like a small glimpse into other people's brains. Because I think the, the daily note, if you if you are actively using the daily note in any sort of capacity, the daily note can be sort of more interesting to go through than your entire vault. Because your daily note is like a time map on when you thought of different things. And I just think that's fascinating. But that's it for today's video on the daily note in Obsidian. I hope you found it helpful or inspiring. As always, if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you did find this video inspiring, please give it a like, uh, maybe even subscribe. I do a lot of videos that are meant to inspire, to look at yourself and your surroundings in a new way. And even though my sort of walkthrough videos can be a bit chaotic, I hope that chaos can sort of inspire you in a different way than the more ordered walkthroughs and tutorials because I believe that chaos and mayhem is sort of a, a very fertile ground for, for inspiring others. So don't be afraid to show your chaos. It can be totally inspiring for other people. Until next time.